Alright folks, Richard Stanton here again, back for this uh, daily challenge. I love it. Let's get in there. I've noticed um, a few other people kind of choose the sexy ones. They kind of, yeah, that colonial type there. I'm really not sure about him. Don't like him for some reason. That, I presume, is how Tom Francis has a robot. I don't know what I've got to do to get that. But until that point... I am going to be Mr. Indiana Jones. Now, uh, today I've got my khaki shorts on. It's been a warm day in Bath, and uh, I've got to admit I cheated a little uh, in that I had a look at Tom Bramwell's video this morning. Uh, I didn't explain that at all well yesterday. Um, there are a couple of journalists I know basically have been doing these videos. There's Tom, there's um, Alec Meir at RPS, there's um, John T at OXM. I thought Dan Grill had been doing them as well because I saw him on the leaderboards. He says he did one but the mic went wrong or something. Anyway, um, so yeah, those kind of, a couple of people I, you know, like like everything these days, I kind of know them, I've met them a few times, but I know them much better from online Twitter and that kind of thing. Um, so that's why I thought it'd be fun to do this and, you know, it is fun basically. Uh, as I said yesterday, Spelunky's amazing! Yeah, I did cheat a bit because I watched Tom play and uh, he went right up there to that chest and stuck his head in front of the arrow um, in the name of risk taking. Um, well, as you saw yesterday, I not only uh, take risks, two for one, I'm pretty bad at it. Uh, but I do think I was watching Tom and I think there's a way to do this. Watch this. Nice! Look at that! Using the tricky rope. Now, what do I get in here? A climbing glove. Now, that is the kind of start we want. Oh, hello Mr. Pug. We'll have you. La la la. Off we go. Oh, jewels, jewels, jewels. If there's one thing in Spelunky I love, it's a sexy jewel. Um, not sure how we're going to do today. I mean... It could, it, could, it could go anyway. Uh, yesterday, obviously, we saw the um, the gold head. Uh, I don't know what you call it. A precious thing. Fuck you, snake. Um, and I tried to take the courage route. I tried to get it uh, by bombing it and instead uh, put down a bomb and ran straight into some spikes. I was drawn towards them like my destiny. Um, so today, if we see, uh, let's see if we can, Bosh, have that, my son. Hello, Pug. Hello. Hello, mate. Oh, if that skeleton had popped up there, he would have had me. Luckily, I, uh, well, <laughs> lucked out. Right, now where are we going? I should say, I cheated there because I watched Tom until um, after he did this level, so I've seen this level and I didn't watch him any further because I'm going to the pub later and I thought I'd better do this before that point for a drink with my excellent, excellent... Oh, fuck off, you fucking... I, I noticed I swore a bit yesterday. Um, Sorry, I'm afraid you're just going to have to get used to that. Uh, I swear a little bit. I know it's unrefined and stuff, but, you know, when you play a game like this and you're talking out loud, like, what what goes through your head when something like that happens, in my case at least, is fuck. So, um, yeah, I just vocalise it. Uh, sorry about that. You know, there's a grand tradition of swearing in English. Ulf's bomb shop. Do I want the bomb box? Of course I want the fucking bomb box. Cheers, Ulf. Catch you later. That was a bargain. Um, and... Yeah. Now I've got that. I can have a look down there. What's, what's it got? What's it got? Oh, bombs. Well, you know. Good trade. Good trade. We'll take that. And now we've got the little eye thing that lets us... Um, Sea and walls. Let's just get the smooch. Love you too, pug. Um, 
Oh, 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 scorpion. Don't like them. Fuck off. Yeah, have that, you cocksucker. And down you go. That was nice, even if I do say so myself. Now, now we're blind. Now we're blind. This is where uh, my cheating ran out. So, oh, did I hear the, um, I think I heard the pug wailing. He wants his master to come rescue him. Well, I don't know if you are his master, actually. Oh, oh fucking spiders! Oh! Jesus H. Christ. There is something, you know, in real life and in video games, there's something about spiders, you know? They're just wrong. <sighs> Took my life in my hands there. That wasn't the, the greatest jump over those spikes. Oh dear. I'd have liked a bit more clearance. Yeah, fuck you, mate. And... Where we, did I get the pug in this level? I don't think I did. Is he up there? Is he up there? We did hear him though, and we've got the climbing gloves, so... Oh, it's gonna be such a pain in the ass to... No. Come on. We're on the clock here. Gotta go through. I'm sorry, pug. I'll get you next time. Uh, I need to add a few people on my friends list as well, actually. I just noticed that just now. I don't actually have Alec Mir on my friend list, so... I friended him up. Hopefully he doesn't hate me or anything, but, you know... We'll see. Uh, what am I going to do here? See, it's that scorp... Oh, I know what I could do. I could jump in the scorpion and then throw him at that arrow trap. However, that would require some skill. Let's have a look. Come on. Yes! Two for one. Champions! Now, oh, well, that's a bit disappointing, isn't it? Wasn't really anything to... Oh, look at him. I could get some free sticky bombs off that. And I've got loads of bombs. Hmm. Oh, and the pug's down there. Right. I'm going to go and have a look at that shop. And then we're going to come back here. Hello! It's Errors General Shop. Got plenty of bombs. Don't really rate the compass, I have to say. Especially when you've got the eye. Um, oh no, that's the glasses I'm thinking of. I'm going to buy the parachute. Because always useful, isn't it? Now, one thing I don't know, although I should have looked at it before, is um, the daily challenge kind of works on... Oh. Right. There we go. Lovely. Another scorpion. He hasn't heard of my rep. The scorpion killer, they call me. Well, I'm not going to kill him with this offer. That was rubbish. Total rubbish. Right. How am I going to get that spider? Maybe better to actually... Oh, Callie as well. Maybe better to bomb through to the spider. Oh, I'm going to hurt the pug if I do that though. Right, I'm going to stick the pug down there and, you know, hopefully he'll survive. The scorpion hasn't attacked him because he knows that pug's a badass. Now, ooh, I always forget about those blocks. See that one above me? I always kind of forget that, run in and get absolutely mullered by them. Hello, Mr. Spider. Now, I don't know if that arrow's going to shoot, but if it does, it'll hit him, not me. But what I really want to do... Yeah, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Oh, I've angered Callie. You f... Oh, right. Well, I'm definitely going to get my... Um... Oh, for fuck's sake. What a perfect day this has been. Oh, hello, ghost. Right. Oh! And down we go. Oh, this is heroic. Right, and... Fuck you. Uh, can't be doing with him. Um, oh, shit. Right, well, there is the base at least. Um, oh, it's too risky. I was thinking about looping round the ghost there and trying to get some stuff, but... You know... We're in this for the long haul, guys. Uh, oh, and I did remember to uh, close down Skype properly today. Uh, I'm sure you all know how to do that, but I didn't know how to do it for ages and ages, and when I finally worked out, I felt like an idiot. It just sits in your system tray, and you have to go there and, you know, click quit and say, get off my PC, you cocksuckers. Anyway, what have we got? What have we got? Fat frog down there. Uh, don't know if he... Oh, hello. Hello. Alright, we're going through there now. 
because if there's one thing I love, it's a bit of treasure. Oh, another parachute. Now that's interesting. I wonder if I actually get to, or if it just, you know, if I just get one. The way Spelunky works, you'd kind of be very disappointed if you didn't get to. Oh, Tiki Traps, my favourite. How are you doing, you grinning cocksucker? The amount of times I've been killed by those untrue. Now, that should make it safe for us to pick up the thing. The Tiki Trap is always is being an issue. Those things, I mean, what a beautiful design. They're so simple and the first time you see it, you just think, oh yeah, easy. And then afterwards, they do you so many times. Hello, pug. Hello, pug. Oh shit, that was bad. Uh, so, oh, we're having a little frame rate drop there and I can't blame it on Skype, so I don't know what that is, uh, but it's not too bad. Hopefully you think the same. Hello, pug. Just me, your old mate Dicky. In it goes. I'll have your boomerang, mate. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so um, I also realised yesterday I kind of forgot to introduce myself. I guess I just assumed, because I was only doing this because my mates were doing it, everyone would know who I was because they saw it on Twitter. OMG! It's another lovely, 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 lovely gold head. And I am going to be having that. So we'll drop that down there, and... Oh, now that's a perfect way to die, just falling in those gaps, isn't it? Yeah, sorry Tiki Trap, too far away for you, mate. Oh, hello. Now we all know what that means. It means there's a black market around here somewhere, which is perfect because uh, I want to buy some shit. So, we'll bomb down there. Beautiful. I'm gonna stick him in. Kill matey boy. Oh, that was lovely, I got a climbing glove. At the very least, that saves me four grand in a shop, because I'd always buy that. I'm just gonna have a quick look for the pug. There he is. Now, oh, that's gonna be a nightmare to get to. And I've got five hearts. I'm gonna take this boomerang, just for a laugh in it. And to the black market we go! Now, like I was saying yesterday, I don't know Spelunky inside out, but um, I read this amazing article I totally recommend, I'll stick it in the description actually, um, by Tom Francis. Uh, you know, Tom used to be a journalist, I used to work in the same building as him, um, he was a, an amazing journalist, but now he's probably better known as the guy who made Gunpoint. Um, so, yeah. He used to be in the gutter with all of us looking at the stars, but now he's uh, up there sailing in a rocket made of gold. Now, uh, oh dear, what is this frame rate drop? Alright guys, hopefully uh, that should have fixed everything. Um, oh, a jetpack! <laughs> a jetpack, nice! Uh, I don't know if you know this, but the amount of um, file size these videos take up initially is gigantic and unfortunately I have a, an enthusiastic friend called Owen who's constantly, I love that cape, constantly making me download stuff. Um, oh, now I can't buy the jetpack. Ah, well, who cares. I'm gonna buy the spike shoes, gonna buy the spring shoes, gonna buy the rope pile and I know there's uh, Oh, I forgot what I was talking about, which was the ank. Here it is. And 50,000 that costs, so we're not going to get it on this run. Which means we're not going to find the secret city of wanky wank wank, but, you know, let's face it, we weren't going to anyway. Uh, I could... Hmm. Ah, no! No! <laughs> Oh, it hurts, Mum. It hurts. Brain damage. That's what I've got. Okay, so we learned something about Spelunky there, which is, as soon as you stop paying attention, it is one of those games that absolutely fucks you over. Um, I got cocky. There's no other way to put it. I got cocky. I was doing very well. I had all my new equipment, and I thought nothing could kill me. 
So it showed that something indeed could. Now, that is a turn up for the books. Tom appears to have died without doing anything. I wonder, I wonder what he did. That's crazy. Uh, there's good old Tom. He didn't get as far as me, but... Oh, so that's interesting. So it does just go on your money. So I should have been... Um, I should have been a bit more... What was the word? Tight. Uh, I think I spunked about 30 grand up the wall at the end there buying that cape and stuff. But, you know, no regrets, even though it did kill me. <laughs> well, I'm going to be back tomorrow uh, doing another one. Uh, hopefully we can maybe see World 3 then. Who knows, you know. The world turns. Thanks again. Catch you later.